Hello and welcome. Good morning, afternoon or night, depending where you are. Um, so welcome to my talk, Facelift Your Administrative, administrative Experience. Um, it's already quite late over here, so I'm based in Europe and it's already after midnight. Uh, so let's just start and dive in. Um, my name is Sascha Eckenberger. I'm a senior UX designer at UNIC. Um, I'm based in Europe, uh, specifically in Zurich, Switzerland. Um, I'm one of the lead designers of the Drupal design system, uh, which also includes Claro, and I'm also the creator of Chin. Um, I'm also a maintainer of several modules, and I'm with the Drupal community for around nine years or a bit more. Um, you can find me at Sasha Ecki basically on like everywhere, social media, like Twitter, Drupal.org and so on. And this is the agenda for today. So first up, we will talk about Claro. Um, then we will talk about Chin and then we do a quick wrap up. So like the key takeaways of this presentations and afterwards we will take questions or, or I will take your questions, um, feel free to uh, you know, come up with questions. So first up, Claro. Um, Claro was basically, um, you know, like the, the administration theme. We're currently working in the Drupal community. Um, there's like the admin UI and JavaScript initiative. Um, so we have a lot of contributors and whenever I you know, like I refer to we as a community or just we, um, this basically means uh, this, there are like a lot of people behind this. Um, it's not just me, there's like a bunch of people. And uh, also to mention that everybody is welcomed. Uh, so feel free to join as well the initiative if you like it. Um, if not, that's fine too. Um, the first thing we created um, for Claro was basically as, um, you know, like a new design system. So like we call it a, like the Drupal design system, um, which we basically outlined all the different elements we need in the admin UI. Um, we had a strong focus on accessibility. So you can call it like access, accessibility first approach. Um, so everything was basically centered around this approach to make it accessible, um, you know, like the, the human centered design approach, uh, but always like with a, with a strong eye on accessibility and taking decisions with accessibility uh, as a key feature. So Claro start, uh, started as a, as a contrib theme. Um, so basically as a contrib theme, we could, you know, like move on with things faster than it would be just, uh, you know, like in core from the beginning. Um, so it was basically available uh, from Drupal 8.8 .8 onwards. Um, it was included into, um, you know, like into Drupal 8.8 .8 core as an experimental theme. Um, so basically it's already there. You can enable it, you can test it, you can try it, you can use it already today. Um, and I think we just move on to how does Claro look like? So for those of you who, who aren't familiar with Claro, I wanted to share you some, some screens of how Claro looked like. So this is not the talk where we talk about the design system or specifically about the initiative. There are like other talks uh, where you can find online where we basically do, uh, you know, like a deep dive into those topics. So um, if you're familiar with Salmon um, or with Drupal in, in particular, um, this should be like a familiar uh, screen. This is the content overview. Um, what we tried to achieve with Claro to, to move it, you know, like in a fast pace was basically with the new design language or with the new design system, we try to basically just, you know, like refresh all the, the components which are there already. So, if you're familiar with seven and you enable Claro, you basically have every single function in the same uh, place where it was before. Um, but spoiler alert, this is not basically the end. This is just the beginning. So this is the node edit form. Um, yeah, as you would expect, it looks similar to seven, just with the refresh design. 
um, nothing spectacular there. Uh, I think the, the the most important part here, even if you know, like from a design point of view, it doesn't look that much different to what we had bef uh, before, was that taking all those decisions in for, you know, like to make it accessible, to make it work in Windows high contrast mode and so on, uh, was basically a stretch also for the front end team for the implementation. Uh, screen, just like the block configuration, as you can see, we have like a tab, like a tab element there as well. We, we added some depth uh, for, for certain fields, um, also like, you know, for better, uh, to, distinct, to distinguish these elements a bit better from each other. Um, this is the configuration overview. And this is basically just a structure overview. So the stable release of Claro, um, as I mentioned before, it's currently available as an experimental theme. So you have to enable it uh, to being able to use it. Um, the stable release of Claro was planned with Drupal 9.0, but unfortunately that didn't happen uh, for, you know, like several reasons, but basically we were be behind schedule and because most of the people are just contributing in their free time, uh, you know, like people are on and off. So things can be a bit delayed and take longer. And we really strive for this, you know, like that, that, that we implement like the accessibility features perfectly. And this takes time. So the new plan was um, to basically have it stable um, by 9.1, but that didn't happen either because of the same reasons. Um, there were even more and more feature requests coming in and things we want, wanted to consider to include for a stable release. So, you know, it got a bit postponed and uh, we, we needed more time. But so, this is basically the new roadmap. Um, so the stable release of Claro is now planned to come with Drupal 9.2, which is due sometime in summer next year, like I think around June. Um, so this is basically the goal we strive for. Um, in the long term, uh, we, well, this is the plan that Claro will replace seven in core uh, once it re reaches stable. Um, and you might ask, okay, what's left for a stable release? Because I was referring to it as an experimental theme. Um, it's already quite stable. You can use it. We, we use it in a lot of different projects uh, in production. Um, it's more that, you know, like some, some finished touches of the media library, for example, contextual links, toolbar style update and stuff like that is maybe not perfectly from a visual point of view, um, but it's, it's for sure already usable also for production use. Um, there's a ticket called Roadmap to Stabilize Claro. Um, it's this issue number. Um, so if you go to Drupal Org uh, in the core issue queue, um, you can find basically all the open tasks which, which are needed for a, for a stable release, uh, you know, like for minor releases, uh, nice to have, box, stuff like that. So you have like a, a good overview of what's open. If you're familiar with, with uh, you know, like Drupal org, you can also already step in and, you know, help the team out and give a helping hand and try to con uh, contribute to Clara. So how can you do that? How to get involved? Um, the easiest thing to do is go to drupal.org slash slack. Um, you know, there's like a Drupal Slack group. Um, there's these two channels, admin UI and admin UI design. Um, the, the first one is for general contribution, like front end, uh, you know, like everything which goes into contribution. The second one is more focused for designers. So if there are any designers listening and you want to help us out, uh, join this channel. Uh, this is basically where all the design happens. Um, everybody else, for sure, is also welcome to join there, of course. Jin. So, um, it's maybe not what you're thinking. It's not like this type of gin. It's not like, you know, the drink. Um, 
the name Chin basically comes from the word origin. So um, we just shortened the, the name origin because of several reasons and that like a major game publisher owns this name to Chin. And uh, why we, or why I wanted to, to, you know, like choose this name was uh, because it should serve as a source of in inspiration and ideas as well for Claro. So talking about that is, is there a relation between Chin and Claro then? Um, yes, there is. There's a strong connection between the two. Um, basically, Chin uses Claro as a base theme. Uh, so it's kind of a sub theme, but also it's standalone theme. Um, and I wanted to give you a brief history of uh, like how Chin became a thing. So the whole thing started last year um, as a customization layer for Claro. Um, so we had the need at Unique and also with, well, you know, like when, when I was talking to other Swiss agencies, um, there was a need from, from a customer point of view to customize the UI um, from, you know, just for branding reasons. So they could integrate Drupal more with their branding, which means like placing their logo, using their like internal color schemes, like the accent color and stuff, just to make it appear nicer to clients. So this is basically where version one started. It was just like this wrapper, which added, you know, like some bunch of features, like, like the accent color, which I mentioned. Um, but eventually um, Drupalcom Amsterdam happened. And as, pre you know, we, we had this talk um, designing the future of the Drupal admin UI and eventually, um, a few weeks or like the design process was much longer, but like a few weeks before uh, we, we hold this talk in Amsterdam, we basically like, when I refer to we is like, uh, you know, like the, the lead designers of the initiative, we came together and we're thinking like, okay, um, should we rethink some stuff off or should we show off like a potential future UI? So what Claro could maybe become in the future? Because as I mentioned before, we don't want to stop with how Claro currently looks like. So this is basically what we came up with. Um, it was a completely new layout. Uh, it has like a sidebar navigation. It has like um, a sticky, um, you know, like a sticky bar at the top with, um, you know, like actions in there. It's more compact. Um, you know, you have some visual clues. Um, so it was a complete new layout and it seemed that people liked it, um, especially like the node edit form, which I think uh, if you're a content editor uh, listening to this talk and uh, if you have a site which has like, you know, a lot of elements on it, like let's say paragraphs or fields or whatever you're using um, and you have a very long page, the save button is always out of reach because if you want to change like the first paragraph, you need to scroll down to the end to basically save your note. And um, this is basically one of the patterns we wanted to change to have like the so-called call to action buttons, like the save button and the preview button always on hand. So we move them to the sticky, uh, to the sticky bar at the top, which would always be sticky there. Uh, even if you scroll down the content and, and you know, do your content editing or creating content. Um, this has some, uh, you know, some implica implications from a technical point of view, because uh, actually it's not part of the, you know, of, of the form itself, but I, I won't go into details for that. So that all said, that was basically the, you know, like the preparation um, with all the feedback we gathered and like people really like to see something like that so that we have a completely new UI. I basically was was trying to expand this chin um, layer for Claro and uh, try to implement this new design language, which I refer to uh, as, as future UI. So let's have a close look at what chin currently in version 3.0 um, looks like. So this is basically how chin looks like. So um, most of the stuff you saw before uh, with like all the layout changes we, we wanted to do, 
uh, are basically already in place here. So we have the sidebar, we have the sticky bar, we have always the call to action on the top right. Uh, everything is in there. So this is the all new layout. Um, we also have like a clear distinction. Um, so we, we added layers to group content better, you know, that you can, um, that it's easier uh, for the eye to track, you know, like to, to get um, the informations which are belong together. Um, then for the node edit form, we basically added just what you saw before. So the sidebar is now a real sidebar. We have the sticky elements. Um, there's another example of like par the use of paragraph. Um, there's also talk improve the content editor experience where I deep dive into those topics, how you can basically uh, provide a better content editor experience at DrupalCon Europe this year, uh, later in December. So we strive for this better editor experience. Um, basically the layout resembles something like a content editor knows like a Word or a Google Docs. So it resembles like in the middle, like this content piece, which is uh, also visually layout as a, as a document, um, which really helps um, the content editors to focus on the content. Um, but not everybody is a huge fan of the cyber approach for the navigation. So um, basically we added some, some other, you know, like uh, ideas there. So we have, a horizontal toolbar. We have the, the original toolbar you know from Drupal. Uh, basically, you can choose the style you want. Um, we also have like a refresh media library, uh, which is just like visually nicer uh, than what you have in core. Um, also, contextual information is key. So um, basically, um, something pops up if you really need it. Otherwise, we hide it. Um, you have a lot more to customize here. So you can change accent color, stuff like that. You can even go fully in a dark mode. So, so you can use a dark mode, um, the whole admin UI, a lot of modules are supported. So if you're, if you're uh, you know, like into these things, you can also um, go fully dark. Um, there are also other modules like the chin login module, which um, just gives you like a seamless, um, you know, like experience um, from the login. So if you have a headless site, you can basically install this module, for example, or if you're not having like a styled login in, in your front end, you basically can use this module to provide a nice login, uh, which also supports all the different styles. And um, there's more incoming, uh, like a custom select a box and so on. Um, from a st st statistic point of view, there are over 2,400 sites already using Chin. Um, and Open Social uses Chin already as their default admin UI in their distro. So that being said, um, I also want to say many thanks to all the contribu to contributors and sponsors, um, because without them, it wouldn't be possible, right? So um, Open Social and Srian, thank you. All the individual GitHub sponsors, uh, you will find them at the link below. Um, thank you very much because this really helps me to focus on this project. So um, as you see, I'm speeding up because I have a lot of slides. So um, as, a, as a short wrap up, so the key takeaways, um, Clara is on track to get a stable release in 9.2. The second thing is we have a heavy focus on accessibility, which is great. Uh, the third one being uh, Chin further improves the overall experience. As you can see, um, you have a lot of um, customization options. And yeah, these are basically the four takeaways I wanna give you. Um, go out there, try Chin and Claro, no matter which one you like more, just use them, provide feedback, create issues, do whatever, um, give me feedback, if the team, give the community feedback, we really need it. So um, you will find more in-depth talks about the admin UI online, as I mentioned before, just Google for it, or I can provide you some links. And if you're uh, interested in the experience for content editors where I do a deep dive, um, there's a talk at DrupalCon Europe. So feel free to join there as well. And you can follow me at Sasha Ecke on Twitter to stay on, you know, to get the latest updates. Um, and yeah, 
just I will always provide there all the stuff. Thank you.